Welcome back to the Full Style Channel for another video. Today's video is going to be a very special fun video because it is International Shop Week. Not International, Nadia. Because it is National Thrift Store Day and I am so very excited. This guys, this is a very sacred and special holiday to me and my people. Just, I'm so excited. You guys know that I am a thrifter, a thrifter I live buy the thrift code and finding good thrift finds so today we're going to explore chicago and we're going to go up north to the wicker park area here in chicago to search out some good thrifted and vintage shops i was there a few i was in that area a few weeks ago applying for a job and i found out about some few other places from the owner of the thrift store that i was um interviewing at so if you guys are interested in joining me on this adventure to go downtown or up north and Look for some thrifted vintage finds in a thrift store on this most sacred of all holidays that is National Thrift Store Day. Then stay tuned. What a peak with what a peak with it. What a peak with it. Oh, the peak one. I mean Y'all be in that flag. Give me ain't a nobody. with a gold chain. Ooh, who you with? for the bronze. 
Parksville Summer Night Store. Here to 9 o'clock. Come spend some money, okay? Yes! <laughs> Come check it out, y'all! Yes! Oh my goodness, guys. It has been a minute since I sat down and talked with you guys. I have missed you so very much, my stylist. I really have. Thank you for all of your patience and support. Um, I'm still in the phase where I still need to upgrade and upgrade and update my software and hardware, but um, I can no longer just sit aside and not do anything or just have my videos and have to send them aside because I can't properly edit. So I hope you guys bear with me while I still try to save and get that done as well as still give you guys the best content that I'm able to give with the software and programming that I have. So keep going. As you know, if you've seen from the clip at the beginning of this video that this past Friday was a very sacred and important holiday. It was National Shop it was National Thrift Shop Day and I of course went out and celebrated in all my thrifted glory. I put on some of my favorite thrifted current favorite thrifted pieces. Went um, to the Wicker Park area up north here in Chicago and then I visited some local vintage and thrifted places. And I have a few goodies that I want to share with you guys. Now, I didn't get too much because I did go to private owned local vintage shops. And vintage is a little bit more different than, say, going to like a Goodwill, a Salvation Army, a Savers, or even a Valley or Unique Thrift. Um, because this stuff is actually vintage pieces, it is at least 20, 30, 40 years old so some things are a little bit more expensive as well as not a lot of things are in plus size in vintage clothing so there was not a lot for me to choose from as far as price wise as well as clothing wise but i did get a few things um accessories mainly and i did get one piece of clothing item and then after i left up north i went as you can see by the clip i went to a area not far from where i live the bronzeville area over on 47 in champagne they have weekly events during the summertime during the summertime months um called bronzeville nights where there's art galleries there's vended markets there's a trolley that take you from here to there as well as i met up with one of my favorite um vintage boutiques um 84th Street Vintage, and I got a few pieces from her as well, and I'm so very excited. I got this cute little bag from Buffalo Exchange. I did not know there was a Buffalo Exchange here in Chicago. I've known about Buffalo Exchange for a few years now from other vintage and thrifty um, YouTubers and Instagrams I follow. They're in New York, and I believe they're in California, and like, um, I believe they started, their home base is in Texas or oh, uh, Arizona. One of them states. Anywho, I didn't know what there was one here in Chicago. So when I found out there was one here, I knew I had to make the trip to go visit. But I'm going to start off with the first, the first store I went to, which is Kie Coco. I don't know how to say it. Coco, <laughs> don't know how to say it, vintage. Um, I went there a few weeks ago for a job interview and I fell in love with the place. It is so 90s. Um, 80s, 90s retro inspired. I mean, they have cassette tapes. They have like the Looney Tunes and Buffy the Vampire Slayers and Pokemon like go cards and everything. It is. Uh, they have like um, actual vintage um, luxury brands such as Chanel and Gucci and um, Dooney and Burke. Like it is amazing. So I picked up a few goodies from there. First being these shades. Yes! First of all, these shades are so popular and trendy right now. I didn't know if I could pull these off, but when I tried these on, I was like, yes. That's it. That's her right there. There she is. I got the color red because I'm filling these with a red cherry lips and some gold hoop earrings, which I will show you in a minute. As well as red is a big statement color trending for the fall and winter season. And you guys know I'm not really one to follow trends, but I can't help that fashion repeats itself. So a lot of stuff I have in my closet are already trendy come. This season time but i'm loving these these are so freaking cute are these are going to be everything like just i'm just i'm serving you looks anyhow moving right along like i said this store has so much of stuff it has buttons and patches and pins and jewelry like if you want to get some gold chains or a horror bone chain that is the place to go it is not inexpensive it is actually quite 
pricey but i think you pay for the quality and all and the authenticity that is actual vintage clothing and uh, pieces they have like little toys and fun things and scrunchies and stuff that you we all had well us 90 kids had when we was younger it has it all there so there wasn't a lot of variety for clothing for me but i do enjoy their accessories and their little knickknacks and everything i also pick a pair of these bamboo gold hoop earrings <laughs> yes, i've always i always wanted to eat one of the parodies when i was a kid i think my mom would not let me buy them because she just thought they was just too wrong she was like no these earrings right okay these earrings with these shades y'all just hit just hit hear me out okay okay and i'm thinking of getting a fanny pack i'm thinking of getting a red fanny pack put together all black fit maybe polka dots and doing like a 90s inspired pinup girl i don't know that don't make any sense but that's how i feel this is pulling me towards what y'all think mm -hmm. <laughs> i don't know what the hell gonna look like but we gonna get the okay i just i'm feeling it that girl speaking to me Alright, last thing I got from Kiyoko, Kiyoko, um, is these, um, black and white stud earrings, these were like six dollars, yeah, six dollars, super cute, nothing fancy, I just love a good stud, and these are black and white, and I needed more black and white, um, simple jewelry in my collection for the days when my outfit is loud, or my outfit is really basic, and I just need a pop of some contrast, absolutely these are so freaking cute you can never get wrong with a basic studded hoop and i like the fact that these go two different ways like they don't both line up the same way it's, it's, it's interesting um i also picked up a bunch of buttons because i love buttons and whoop, my earring wasn't here oh lord i gotta find my earring okay i picked up on some of their buttons because they were free and I love buttons. You guys know I have an obsession with buttons. And then I went to another other store with my friend Crystal when she met up with me when she got to work. And it's called Rag Rag Stock. Really cool store. They have free buttons as well. Next place I went to was actual Buffalo Exchange. Because at this point I was just wandering down the street. And the further north Michigan I got, the more and more boutiques and shops there were. That place is amazing. I'm already looking for apartments. Okay. Um, I picked up this darling kind of chambray faux denim shirt dress. Oh my God. This is giving me full on little house of the prairies and you get your gun. Um, the Western trend is really huge this fall. I've already seen it in Target and Eloquii. It's been done on, um, I think... Tom Ford and Fenty um, a one way but I'm going to get more into that in my fall releases and fall trends video I am going to do that again this season because I really like those videos and I got some goodies I want to share with you guys but I am loving this dress I got this from um like I said Buffalo Exchange it was only $15 I mean okay if you a regular thrifter and you used to shopping at Goodwill and unique or Valley Thrift or Savers $15 is a little much but in a place like um Valley Thrift I mean a place like Buffalo Exchange $15 is kind of a steal and this is a 3x and it's from Vermont the country store I don't know what Vermont they talking about the state of Vermont but I just know this is so freaking cute like milk made little house on a fermi little house on a prairie farmer milk made this is so freaking cute it flares out so it's like a full skirt the only thing i wish is that it had pockets but it's so freaking cute i love the waistline that it has this elastic and these little button details down the front i love this pleating that's down the bodice the front part of the dress and these buttons i may change out these buttons from like some gold buttons hmm or some type of buttons to help me bring out that western vibe that this dress is giving me i don't know you guys stay tuned for that but it's so freaking cute i will be doing the try on so you guys can see how this looks absolutely adorable so that was the only thing i got from buffalo exchange because i did pick up a pair of red heels red booties and i had to put them back because they was 30 dollars and I, I, there was other places i needed to go and i now kind of regret i didn't get them um so 
after that, me and me and Crystal went and got lunch, and then we left. Oh, they got my other earring. Lord have mercy. I was tired. <laughs> um, after that, we went back. Like I said, we went to the Bronzeville area on the south side here in Chicago, and I picked up a few things. First thing I picked up is this gold vintage belt that is like I don't know what I don't know what to call this but it's like the ones that stretch you guys can see that if my camera will focus it has a front claps like this and it stretches perfect to fit around my waist with a little stretch to it i already know what i'm gonna wear this with i've had a dress that has been waiting for this belt so excited so cute this was 15 dollars. like i said vintage is a little bit more i also picked up this i don't even again don't know what's it called it's an adjustable necklace or you can wear it as a bracelet it's one of these things that you just literally put on and you just turn it and you make your own thing with it and you know you got you your own custom piece love it so cute she also had one in silver my friend crystal picked up the silver one i absolutely love this this is so cute like i said i just love how customized customizable is that even a word customizable how custom this is that you could just make your own thing i even thought about like finding a way to attach it in my head and make like a neck like a head piece out of it like on some day when i'm feeling really i'm feel i'm feeling myself my, my queen is showing well she shows every day but you guys know what i'm saying like Oh, I just did it. Y'all weren't ready. <laughs> oh, yes, guys. Come on. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. But that's it, guys. That's all I wanted to share with you guys. I just wanted to share with you guys a few pieces that I got from shopping on National Thrift Day. I'm so excited that I was able to do something this year because I know last year I couldn't do it. Last year I forgot. And the year before last year I couldn't do nothing at all because I had absolutely no money. Um, I really shouldn't have been shopping because I'm still hurting for my Atlanta trip. But... God be the glory. I had a little, little something, something to treat myself to so a little something, something. I'm going to let you guys go because I have another video I want to film. Um, I am getting back into, um, I had to refilm my IGTV episodes because I filmed them on my camera and I'm unable to format them to be on um, Instagram. So I have to refilm them like on my tablet and everything so I can edit and upload them from there. And, um... If you guys are not following me on Instagram, please do so at Full Style Inc. I am going to be getting more involved in IGTV and I'm going to be focusing mainly on self-love and self-care on IGTV. I'm going to be dove, doving in and talking more about the importance of loving yourself. Why is it important, why is it important to love yourself? What is self-love and how to love yourself? So if you guys are interested in that, as I'm pretty sure you are, make sure you check that out. If you guys want to see more DIYs and more thrifted videos, Videos and just help support Full Style as it continues to grow. Um, make sure to check out my Patreon page. I would really love you guys' support. Um, like I said, I am on one woman show right now until I'm able to get anyone's help. There is so much I want to do and someone, so much that I cannot do because of financial reasons. Me And I just love you guys. Thank you guys for being patient and waiting for me to come back. Thank you guys for your kind words on my last vlog video. That was an emotional roller coaster going through Atlanta with no luggage, not even no draws like that. <sighs> Anywho, guys, I'm so glad you guys enjoyed that video. I really did have a good time. I had to pick myself up and get at it and not live in the negative thoughts, not live in that moment because if I did, I would have ruined and I would have missed out on an awesome weekend and missed out on meeting some amazing people who I've made good, meaningful connections with and that's what life is about that's what this whole experience was about and i'm so glad that i pushed through and i was able to share anything with you guys because at one point in time i did not even want to take my camera because i was just that over it okay guys so thank you so much for watching i'm gonna let you guys go i love you guys so so very much but always remember to love yourself fully until next time